Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm going to be talking about ICP, some of the events that are happening in the ecosystem, the things that you need to know, what I'm bullish on, Sin City Crypto. I was out in Vegas a couple weeks ago filming with Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, for my up-and-coming film, Cracking FTX, which will debut, folks, on May 10th via the ICPCC conference. But they dropped a weekly GitHub score, ICP, to nobody's surprise that's been following ICP, is ranked number one once again. This has been the case for ICP in the last year and a half, two years. It has ranked consistently within the top 10 for GitHub commits, most often in the top five every single week. So this is great to see. Dominic Williams is also promoting the fact that ICP could solve some significant issues for Ethereum. Now, Internet Computer is built to complement other projects to help kind of pick up the strings uh, where other projects might kind of lack. Now, with Ethereum, for that matter, uh, the problem is Ethereum's proof verification. It costs thousands of dollars and it takes 30 seconds. We're in a society, folks, where we need instant gratification. ICP delivers this. ICP contracts will verify ETH proof verification, and it does this via chain key, and it costs two cents, and it's a split second. So hopefully Vitalik sees this. He knows the potential of ICP, and he's talked about how ICP is like a sister network to Ethereum, and I think that uh, Definity uh, really complements Ethereum quite nicely. And we're going to be talking about Noble Blocks here in just a second because that's a prime example of an application being built on Internet Computer catering to the Ethereum community. Definity dropped an absolute banger. Build on Bitcoin at the speed of ICP. I like that. Chain Fusion enables native integration with Bitcoin eliminating intermediaries. Now, folks, the one thing that I always get kind of weirded out with other chains is when you start to get like these bridges to these, you know, custodians that are just, you know, not that reputable, what happens? They get hacked. This eliminates all that. Uh, so this isn't a distant dreams. Hundreds of devs are di building directly on Bitcoin, utilizing ICP's smart contracts. So, Definity guys, it, it's always hitting the ball out of the park. Aaron Bremser is in Hong Kong saying Dominic Williams is speaking. So this is awesome to see Dominic Williams in Hong Kong promoting AI things like that uh, for the IC. So this is really great. I know he's been just traveling all over the world, uh, just dropping absolute banger speeches. Mason versus Lewis. We're going to be talking about Noble here in just a second. We are officially holders of two DeSci crypto tokens, Noble and Axon. And like I mentioned, folks, Noble Blocks is built on Definity's internet computer, and it caters to the ETH uh, token or the ETH ecosystem. That's where all the liquidity is. That's where all the people are playing around is the ETH ecosystem, right? So this is a decentralized science uh, project that's trying to revolutionize the way scientific research is done. Uh, I was able to get in on the presale and I bought a lot of tokens of this. Uh, so I'm bullish on this. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Internet computer today up 0.1%. Uh, Nervos Network. This is a project that you guys need to be looking at. I've been telling you guys about this for the last three or four years as well. Since like 20, I don't know, a long time. Uh, but it's up 31% today. It's a top 100 token now. Awesome. So I do think that this thing's going to continue to climb higher because they are a proof of work chain that has RGB++ and can also utilize Bitcoin just like ICP. Uh, so Noble, uh, it's got two, just over $2.2 million uh, worth of liquidity right now. Uh, we're seeing uh, price chill at 0 0.062. 
Uh, so this is interesting to say the least. Uh, like I said, I hold a big bag of this. Uh, let's see if we can figure out uh, what the market cap is. Unfortunately, it's not on CoinGecko yet, but uh, Noble Blocks, folks, this thing ran up like a thousand percent out of the gates. Man, I made a lot of money on this. I was one of the people that were able to get in for the pre sale. And I was only able to squeeze a third of the ETH through before the sale ran out. It ran out in 20 seconds. There's huge demand for this token. Uh, but you can see when something runs up a, a thousand percent, uh, like literally within a couple days, you know, people are going to sell off and take profits. So that's exactly what's happening right now. So we saw this thing retrace down to the 61.8. So I'm hoping that this thing starts to reverse a little bit. We've got the RSI really kind of moving to the upside now. We'll see if we can cross, um, uh, maybe get a golden cross here on the RSI. Uh, but let's look at ICP right now. It's been a couple minutes here before, uh, before I've made a video. Now the last video on ICP, I think I made like on Monday or something. I ended up getting sick this week, guys. So I was just kind of like out of it. I was so sleep deprived and I was just not feeling good. Today is the first day that I'm starting to kind of feel a little bit better. Uh, but this was kind of the last little schematic that I drew up on ICP. And I said, uh, we're kind of looking for this thing to flag out. And it looks like we might see ICP get ready to make its move to the next level up. And now if this is Elliott wave theory, we could count on wave two to three being longer than 0 0.0 to one. So by default, you know, it would put the price at around $32. It could go higher. We could see price rip up to $50 and then see this retracement here. But we won't know until we know. But all I know is that on the charts, we've got a very nice flag pennant formation that is happening right now. So we're seeing the, we're really seeing ICP hold at a very kind of important place uh, as well. Let's just look at this uh, really quickly. So right here, there is a gigantic uh, support and resistance level here. You can see we resisted here, resisted here. We broke above it in this last drive to the upside. And now uh, we are holding support at these levels. So that is a good thing. I'm hoping to see this next move to the upside. And speaking of Elliott wave theory, you know, you could almost argue that this is maybe the first wave of a grander uh, move to the upside. So, I mean, by default, uh, we might see ICP really kind of take this reach up to that $50-ish level uh, if, if this is Elliott Wave Theory that we are seeing uh, at the moment. So keep an eye on this, folks. I love you all, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.